guys and welcome back or welcome to the pig room if you are new here it is a pleasure having you here my name is Austin so as you guys can see behind me I have quite a different setup than what you guys have seen in my prior videos if you guys can already tell by the title of today's video we are going to be adopting two more guinea pigs making my current herd of 10 into 12 right now it's currently Friday and I have everything set up prior to actually bringing them here just because I wanted to get everything set up I have been searching for quite a bit now for for adding two guinea pigs to my herd and I really wanted to make sure that when I did come across two guinea pigs that were available for adoption that they were the ones that I have always wanted and that they were a perfect match. Now for those of you who don't know I have currently seven girls and three boys and I've really been wanting to get some more boys and immediately when I came across their listing I was like these boys are like meant to be like I, I need them to be mine. I actually found them through guineapigfinder.com. I'll put a link right here so you guys can go check them out. It's a really great website if you guys are looking for guinea pig adoptions in your area so no matter where you live in the states you are bound to find something typically on these websites the guinea pigs tend to be a little bit older it's very rare that you come across like younger guinea pigs on these websites there is a case where maybe like a, a pig was pregnant and the owners can't keep all those babies so you will sometimes find babies on there but for the most part they are older but that is completely fine I mean no matter what the case may be I think all all pigs are deserving of a loving home and as long as you provide them the care for however long they live for that is all that matters so the boys I'm actually adopting their names are Oreo and Chip I'll put a picture of them right here they are actually one years old and they're two males I've been looking to add to my herd for quite some time now I absolutely love my boys I think they compared to my girls are a little bit more crazy and energetic and I kind of like the difference between the two so having two more energetic boys hopefully will be really really nice to add to the family so as you guys can see behind me here I am going to be putting them in a three by seven I'm actually going to be putting a clip after this of me just giving the rundown of the cages and stuff like that but yeah, this is the setup for them. They are going from a two by five to a three by seven, so it's quite the upgrade. Boys really do need their space to run around and just live their lives. Anything that's smaller than a two by five, honestly, in my opinion, or a two by four, is not optimal for them to get along. The owner did mention that they do bicker a little bit here and there and kind of fight, but that's typical amongst male guinea pigs, so that's nothing shocking to me. Hopefully with the big cage, that kind of subsides and they can kind of get along a lot better. But I'm really, 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 really excited I have a bunch of new items in the cage which you guys will see. I think they're gonna love it. I am picking them up on Sunday and at 2 p.m. and I'm meeting her there. It's about a half hour drive from where I currently live and she's meeting me halfway which is really nice. So when it comes to transportation for the pigs on Sunday, I am going to be transporting them in these two pet carriers. They are pink and purple, but I don't think they're going to mind. The girl said she's going to bring them in cardboard boxes, so I think it's just a little bit nicer if I just put these in here in the car. That way they're a lot more secure. I'm going to be putting some fleece items in here so they're nice and cozy, and then also some hay and veggies, which I have to cut up before. I actually ended up using these for Caroline and Wanda when they had an emergency vet visit, and they're super roomy. They're big enough for one adult guinea pig each, and I also really, really, really like how they have three um, entrances, so they have the two sides and the front. But yeah, yeah, from the what I can tell on the pictures the boys actually look pretty big they look a lot bigger than my females and I think that's just part of having males so I'm sure they're going to be massive I don't really know their personalities I don't know if they're shy if they're timid if they're confident if they're you know really lively and comfortable with humans we're going to obviously see that when we come and bring them here another point that I really want to mention when it comes to having a bunch of animals I know there's actually a video going around on YouTube that a lot of people are reacting to when you know this girl's talking about having having a hundred pets and like what it means to keep up with it and how it's borderline hoarding. There's a fine line between hoarding animals and also having a lot of animals but taking really good care of them. Because I do have 12 guinea pigs, a lot of people on the dot would be like, that is insane, like why do you have 12 guinea pigs? Which I can understand because it is a lot. But I think it's really important that if you are signing yourself up for having this many pets, it's really important that you are making sure that they're in the best care possible and they are getting everything they need in order to live a really healthy and sustainable happy life yes I do have a lot of animals and yes it does work for my lifestyle so in no way whatsoever is this going to be suitable for everyone it's just something that obviously I really love and enjoy with you know having these animals I just want to say this is probably my my last set of guinea pigs that I'm getting like 12 is going to be my cutoff now there are some considerations that I take into account as if like if someone was to drop it off at my doorstep let's say or if I was to come across like a family that really could not take care of it or was in really bad condition 
then of course I would do what I could with the space that I have and taking in some more. But for right now, I am just going to be sticking with the 12 that I'm going to be having and just work from there. And with having so many guinea pigs, it's really nice just because I have so much content that I can do for you guys. So it's really helpful in you guys learning as well. I am not the most knowledgeable guinea dad out there. I definitely by all means am not an expert like some of the people on here, but I do do a lot of research when it comes to having my free time and just making sure that I'm providing for my guinea pigs in the best way possible and making sure that their health is in order. You know, I'm researching everything about hay and food and diet and issues that occur in them and just so many things that are really important to look out for in keeping your guinea pigs nice and healthy which is obviously the most important thing especially when it comes to having a lot because i will say it is a lot easier to monitor your guinea pigs and their health when you don't have that many with having so many you definitely need to have a closer eye on noticing those differences if anything's wrong or changing so it is a lot of work and i definitely have my work cut out for me every single day when it comes to the morning afternoons and also nights but it's enjoyable for me and i love sharing you know my experience with having these animals with you and letting you guys in on my life and what it means to have this many animals. So uh, if you guys are obviously interested in just learning more about my guinea pigs, more so than just being on my YouTube channel, I do post a lot of stuff on my Instagram. It's a lot of behind the scenes things. It's also a lot of announcements that you guys are probably the first to hear about through my Instagram. I'm like always on there. And it's also like videos and photos. So I have a bunch of content on there. So please feel free to go follow me. Now, typically when it comes to adopting guinea pigs, I've done a few rescues and stuff. They have been given names prior, but I like to change them due to their personalities. I don't think Oreo and Chip, that, that those names suit the guinea pigs from what I can see and what they look like. So typically when I am naming my guinea pigs, I like to kind of see their personality first and see what kind of fits them the best. So it may be something that comes to mind in within the day that I get them or in a few days. I will obviously update you guys when we come to a decision on their names. Just a little uh, kind of, I guess, pointer or recommendation for you guys out there. I 100% believe in adoption. I believe in going out there, seeing what's available in terms of guinea pigs and seeing if there are any rescues or adoption places or even just listings online where people are needing to rehome their guinea pigs. I am guilty of actually purchasing some of my guinea pigs from a pet store. Although that's not something that's really great to do and putting more money into these big corporations to support mass breeding these animals and treating them poorly, I definitely I do believe that all guinea pigs deserve homes no matter where they come from but within the recent months of you know rescuing my own guinea pigs and just finding the importance of bringing them into a better situation because typically on these websites they are a little bit more urgent and people really do need to get rid of them because they're moving or they can't take care of them anymore that is a much better situation to be getting them from rather than a pet store that just keeps getting more and more and they're always going to be sold what I can say to you guys and recommend if you are interested in getting guinea pigs is jump on guineapigfinder.com jump on pet finder jump on craigslist there are thousands of guinea pigs that need homes and that is not to say that if you made the same mistake as me i wouldn't even say it's a mistake i would say it's more of a decision if you made the same decision as me to get your guinea pigs from a pet store i think that is incredibly fine i think as long as you're providing them the necessary care then it's okay but just know that going forward there are so many guinea pigs out there that would love to be a part of your family that are at another's and i think if you can offer them better care from the current situation that they're in please do it by all the means the amount of connect that I have from not using them for the girls cages now is so crazy <laughs> it's just the boys that are gonna use these connectors so I'm glad I'm finally using these because they're just sitting here yeah this is insane the amount of connectors I have Actually, the next day, and I have completed the new boys setup for their cage. Now, before I show you guys, as you guys can probably see in the last clip that I was filming, I was putting together a three by five. With the configuration of the room, I realized that I did not have enough floor space to put everything that I have. So I have things like a hamper, a silver medical table, drawers with a bunch of storage, and also trash bins. So with their cage on the floor, I was really minimizing the floor space. So I would have had to bring all that stuff outside of this room and put it elsewhere. So I gave it some thought last night and I was really planning out what would work for them. Now I really just kept in mind, I'm like, okay, Okay, they're boys, they need more space. The three by five was perfect for them, but I thought I could do better. So, 
they're gonna be right down here. So I moved the boys down a little bit and put them in this corner. So they're all set up right there. And then I was originally building the new boys cage right here. And it was just a lot, like I was losing space over there. I was, I had hardly any space over here. So that just like what is right here was all I could work with. And I obviously didn't want to put the table in the middle. So that wasn't gonna work out. So I decided, you know what? Let me actually do a second level for the boys. I feel like that makes the most amount of sense because it was what I was actually doing in the place that I lived before with my old cage and it saves so much space because you're building up rather than out this cage is massive so it's a lot out for the case of building another big cage it just makes sense to have this set up everything is not complete as you could see like I still have to put the chloroplast in which I have to actually build right now the boys are loving it up here I honestly think that they like it just like being above ground and seeing the girls it's also really nice because they're not jumping out anymore because it is so high I'm obviously keeping an eye on them to make sure that they don't you know get any ideas but they've been fine for the night that they slept here and also the morning and I think it just looks really nice like I can actually interact with my boys and not bend down so probably gonna do that in the near future with the rest of them so they went from a two by five which is what they're currently living in to a three by five which is what I was set on to now a three by seven so they have plenty of space there's just two boys so they have even more space than they do because it's so dark down here I want to get some like LED lights or fairy lights and just attach them to the ceiling I know you have to be cautious with putting lights near guinea pigs because they will chew on practically anything that's in front of them. So I'm going to probably zip tie them to the ceiling so they can't get a hold of them. And because the cage is so big, you guys will see that I have some stuff underneath it. And that's basically just holding everything up. If I was to take it out, everything would still stay together. But I did notice that there is a little like bobbing up and down when the pigs move, which isn't great because it's constantly shaking when they're running around. I went to Home Depot today and I got these, I believe they're one inch dowels and I just cut them to the size of the cage with two inches is extra on each side and I just decided to feed them through the cubes over here so it goes all the way back there and then all the way here and my thought process behind that was that if anything was to give out the cage floor would hit this making it a lot sturdier but the only problem is that there's a little bit of a space right there so it's not really supporting anything so I got a bunch of zip ties so I think I'm going to actually zip tie this to the actual grids on the bottom, and I think this would make it a lot more sturdy. So I have two more of these. So I'm gonna put one there, one in the middle, and then one on the end. And I just have this cube here for just like structural reasons. So I'm gonna actually remove this. So I have two cubes to access them here, a support grid in the middle, and then two cubes right there. So the boys cage is set up. I put in all their fleece items and little hidey houses and some new toys. I picked up some new items for them just so that they're completely fresh and don't have any of the smell from the other pigs on them. So it's just completely theirs. I have a litter box right over here for them and also a new pellet dish. I actually have to pick up some more bedding so I'm gonna do that probably tonight or tomorrow. And then they got one water bottle. I have to get another one just cause I don't want them to fight over it. So I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow as well. Just so you guys know, if you're doing any types of cages that are three tiers and you're using CNC grids these are not the best <laughs> they are sturdy if you're just putting like light items on them but if you're having you know for my case three pigs and all this type of you know these items on top it's going to get heavy especially if you're doing a three by whatever a two by whatever is fine because it, it it's not gonna bow so much and kind of give out and concave but if you're doing in my case a three by seven the the middle's going to really fall drop. So I got a bunch of zip ties and honestly guys, everywhere on each corner and middle, everything is zip tied. So this cage is going nowhere. No piggy accidents are going to happen. So I can actually, you know, sleep peacefully at night knowing that the boys under here are going to be completely safe and nothing's gonna fall down. I've honestly never been this excited to get two pigs. When I originally wanted to get into guinea pigs, I was really set on getting a gray and white one. And as you guys know, I don't have any gray and white guinea pigs. So the fact that I'm getting a gray and white guinea pig now as my last two to complete my herd, my family is kind of crazy. So I'm really happy that it's finally happening. But also you guys, like these bunk beds, I cannot cage you guys enough. My pigs love them so much. For example, we've got 
Winston over here, who's just chilling on his bunk bed. He is obsessed with it. All my girls are obsessed with it. If you guys are interested in getting these, I will link where you can get them from. All right, guys, so we are now in the car going to pick up the boys. Um, like I mentioned before, it's only about a half hour drive. Hopefully it's not much longer with traffic. We're gonna be meeting her at a Walmart parking lot since that was like the halfway point. So honestly, I'm, I'm, this works out better just because I didn't wanna have to drive 50 minutes to her and just have a long commute. I have the carriers packed, can you actually get them? My Vanna White, show them off and get them. <laughs> I have some fleece little pee pads on the bottom so that way if they you know, do their business, it's not gonna spill on the floor. I got some hay packed um, so they can munch on some stuff and have something to do while they're stuck in these little, oh! <laughs> while they're stuck in the boxes. So yeah, I'm probably gonna update you guys when I get there. We're like, what's this say, 26 minutes away, so it'll be pretty quick. Hi. Hi, baby. Hello. Oh my goodness. They're like, I need food. Oh, it's <laughs> so cute. Yeah, you just put it right in the corner. Hi, buddy. Hey, bud. You're so soft. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're so precious. Oh my God. You're a precious little baby. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh my god, he's laying down. Do you see him? Hi, baby. So the girl told me that this one is Chip, but we're obviously going to be changing the names. Once you did pick them up out of their little carriers, it seemed like they didn't mind being picked up. So it seems like they're actually friendly, which is really good. So she might have been like handling them a lot, which makes my job easier. Hi, bud. I know. Are you scared? It's okay. I know. You're already coming out on your own. Oh my god. And they're so big guys too. Like they're massive. I know, I know. Hi. Oh, he's a little scared. Hi buddy. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> he is almost completely white with almost like this silvery brown grayish color right here. So he's super gorgeous. He has little pink rims for his eyes. He's a little beautiful boy. All right, you wanna go in your cage? So we're just gonna put them in right here. Go explore. And I also don't know if they've ever been on fleece, so I don't know if they were on bedding before or fleece, so this might be new to them totally. So we're gonna put in our next boy. He is a full gray and white color. And he's a little beautiful boy. From first impressions, I think that he's a little bit more timid than the other one. Yeah, they seem like they're both a little like scared to be picked up. I know, I know, I know. So here you guys can get a good look at him. He's got the biggest size ever. And that their nails are beautiful. pretty pretty good. They look well groomed. I obviously have to check their sacks to make sure they're clean, but I'm not gonna do that for a couple days. So the boys are doing a little bit of dominance right now, and I think it's just because they're in a new territory, so they're having to assert it. But yeah, I mean this is pretty this is pretty normal amongst male guinea pigs, but it seems like the more white one is the dominant one. So it seems like he's probably gonna gonna win this fight. And then the uh, full gray one is kind of more submissive. But no wrestling or like tornado fighting, it's just pretty minuscule dominance issues. I'm gonna give them some time to adjust and just get settled in 
and I'll probably update you guys tonight. So the boys have been in their cage now for about two hours and it's dinner time here in the pig room. So they have some romaine lettuce, some kale, some red leaf lettuce, carrots, and some peppers. I don't really know what their diet was before with the previous owner, but they seem pretty healthy and in good condition. So I'm assuming that they got veggies <laughs> every single day. And this is also really gonna help with just making them feel comfortable with feeding them because that's the only way to a piggy's heart. Hopefully they'll be uh, nice and comfortable with us in the next couple days are kind of just staying back towards the cage where it's the darkest. When I walked into the room, I also had noticed that he had a little cut on his lip and he had blood on his lip. So I'm assuming that he bit him, which worries me a little bit because when pigs usually draw blood, that means that you should pretty much separate them. For the most part, even before when they got their veggies, they weren't fighting whatsoever. So they might have just worked through it when I wasn't in the room. I'm obviously gonna still keep a close eye on them, but it seems like for the most part, they're getting along again this is just typical of boys to like kind of get very territorial with one another and aggressive and assert their dominance but if it does progress and get any worse obviously i will do something but for right now it's it's nothing to uh stress over Alrighty, guys so the boys officially had their first night in their new home they're still adjusting they are still very 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 shy and scared so it's going to be a little while until they start to open up and become more comfortable with me they got their first spot clean this morning and they were like petrified that i was like inside of their cage because they have to like basically put half my body inside of it to actually get everything so they were like running around crazy they didn't eat any of their food really and they only drank a little bit of water so they are scared so i'm just gonna keep a close eye on them for the next couple days and just make sure that they're you know getting all their food in and water in and just making sure they're totally normal we actually decided on their names yesterday i asked you guys on my instagram for some suggestions so i attached some photos and you guys really came through so we decided this this one over here with the all white and a little bit of brown on the side is going to be Toby. And then the salt and pepper color one right here he is going to be Ashton. He fits that name perfectly because he looks like ash from a fire. So I think it suits him really well. They're not getting along like the best of friends. I mean, it's typical of males to do that, but I thought they would be getting along a little bit better with having such a big cage, but it's nothing too crazy that's going on right now. It's nothing to worry about. They're just kind of being boys kind of like how my boys are right now. Why are you guys going crazy, huh? Do you guys see them right now? Oh my goodness. Hey, calm down, it's okay. I had to improvise my cage a little bit. I had a piece of chloroplast right there, but they kept going on top of the hay rack and then leaning up against it, so it kept falling. So I was worried they would actually fall out of the cage. So I removed that and just bent some grids and just used them as kind of like a <laughs> ceiling for them so they couldn't even like climb over that. And as you can tell, they have a high interest in it right now, but they are annoyed because they can't get out of it. I have to think of something for this because I'm just so worried they're gonna like move this and then jump out of here. It already happened while I was in the room, but luckily I actually caught the Kai who was the one who did it. I'm thinking of actually getting the plexiglass cubes to have them not be able to use the wire cubes as ladders. So a lot of changes are going to happen in these next couple days because I really need to make sure that my boys are safe and not, you know, being crazy. They seem really like aggravated right now, but again, it's just because of the new boys and their smell. I also added some Christmas lights underneath because it was a little dark as you guys could see in the last clips. And this just helps to really brighten up the room and also their space so that they're not in the dark. And I just zip-tied all the Christmas lights right to the top of the ceiling so there's no way for them to actually get a hold of them and chew on them. Look how cute he is right now. Guys, they love these bunk beds. They've been hanging them like since last night and also this morning. They're just like so cozy. I will of course give you guys some updates in you know the coming days. You can check out my Instagram and I post a lot of there on my story and stuff so you guys can see all kinds of updates and just post on there as well. So make sure to go follow me. But that is my video of adopting my two guinea pigs. So now we officially added two more to the pig room. So we have a total of 12 pigs. I'm sure these boys will get more comfortable with me in the next coming days. I will obviously try and tame them and just do a lot of hand feed to get them more comfortable with me so that way that they're not so distant and cold towards me. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I definitely want to do more of these vlog style videos where it's kind of just more chillax and I can be out and about running errands and just doing things and it's just not me being stuck in like you know one room. I feel like it's a lot more exciting for you guys to watch but if you did like this video please make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for new videos every single week and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.